that's what they are actually paying for, even though you're not an expert in, in that area. So actually when, you know, as design researchers, we go into this sort of new territory, right, that we've never mm. really, for example, never explored before. Um, and when we are working with clients, it's it's expected that the client would have more knowledge, right, and deeper understanding in that field simply because they've been in it. Um, yeah, so I mean, with that, us coming in with less knowledge, mm. how do we um, generate insights that the clients don't already know, um, given their, their expertise and their experience in the field? Mm. Yeah, like it, it sounds a bit like, you know, um, it can be difficult because like we don't know anything and then yeah. we're going and trying to, okay, we found some new stuff. Yeah, how, how, how do we actually come up with new stuff that they don't already know? And I've been grappling with that problem ever since uh, we started doing design research as well. It's like, why would someone pay you, um, which you are essentially a non-expert in their subject matter, they have spent maybe 30 years in their field uh, and they're paying an outsider, also called third party, to come in and tell them what to do. Uh, which can be, which sounds really ironic, right? Um, and I think it goes down to two things in the end. Um, the number one thing is actually, uh, um, you can't live multiple lives in, in your own lifetime. So as the client, they have spent their 20, 30 years, uh, half their career or full career, diving into, let's say, medical industry or medical um, kind of zone, and it's very specialized even, right? Um, while well, these other guys have spent their 10 years or 20 years um, working on different projects, different experiences, um, they basically bring, bring to the, on the table another 10 to 20 years of um, um, varied experience. And I think that's, that's something worthwhile, although you're not an expert in their industry, because of your own unique experiences, you kind of bring something different to the table. And I think that's what they're paying for, the difference. Um, and most likely they have tackled the problem or worked on the problem um, so there's only two reasons why the client engages you. Number one is that they've got no time and they've got expertise, they've got no time. Okay, then I think that's on a vendor basis. Um, the other one is they've got a problem that they've tried solving for many years and they realize they needed another perspective. So that's where your other life comes into play and, and that's the value of a team as well. If you have a team of um, five versus a team of two, you get five times life experiences than two times. And you bring that all to the table. Um, so you then share your experiences working, let's say it's a medical project, medical industry person uh, project, you share your experiences doing consumer electronics, doing a service, um, doing, um, you know, all sorts of other projects on hospitality to, you know, to bring into medical setting. And and that's where the, the, the richness happens. So number one is life experiences. You can never replicate that. You only have one life to live. So it's good to be able to um, multiply that through uh, uh, different perspectives. That's why I read books also. Um, the second part about this is um, process. So um, it's always about trusting in the process. So um, the particular research team or design team that you engage has spent their past um, years um, improving and practicing their process. And with that, um, they become kind of good at it to be able to use and lie, uh, rely back on processes to always generate um, a certain level of outcome. And that's something that the client team would have, but it's their own process of their industry. And it would not be typically about research or talking to people because then, then they would have been research companies, but they're not. Yeah. So I think it's these two points in the end that that's what they are actually paying for, even though you're not an expert in, in that area. <laughs>